Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory. And uh, I gotta say, we got ourselves a little bit of a pretty, honestly, on paper, a pretty bland day. But in terms of progression, a pretty hype day. So for those of you who are not quite caught up on things or just want to know where we are right now or want a little recap, we have finally escaped the Wood Age. We've done everything here, including the Cobblestone Generator, which has now pushed us into the Stone Age. So we're getting pretty far along. Now, the dark room, we haven't obviously done the 25 blocks away bit. And frankly speaking, even though this does technically function as a form of a mob farm, I don't think it's a very good mob farm, obviously, and we can make better. So I'm not going to tick that off the list for now. Now, the other side of the entire thing is make a field of grass 25 blocks away from your base for spawning animals. Now, we do have grass seeds, which we got from sieving uh, down some was it some dirt yeah we got some from dirt and i think we're i think we're good to go so i went ahead and while i was just hanging out on stream i got us a little just a little bit over a stack of dirt and we also got ourselves some cobblestone so we're going to go ahead and do just that we're going to go ahead and put together some stuff here now in the interest of not completely losing my mental sanity um we are going to start off with an eight by eight right so eight times eight equals 64 which is why we got ourselves a full stack now, that is, of course, going to create the issue that I'm sure some people have already started thinking about, which is also driving some people insane, which is, hey, Choco, I can't help but notice that we're not symmetrical anymore, to which I have to say to you, you'd be correct. <laughs> um, so we are, we are definitely not doing symmetry this season. Also, I am not in any way, shape, or form remembering how this is all going down. Uh, Okay, so one, two, you know what? I really should do this. I don't know why I don't, because I know how to do it. I just refuse to do it for some bizarre reason. So I can just do this, and I can just look at my F3 and just be like, okay, 235, I can just calculate it all the way down. Oh, you know why I don't, okay, never mind. I know why I don't do that. It's because I'm dumb. <laughs> I mean, that's the, that's the honest to God answer, which is there is one thing in math that I, could, I still to this day can't quite wrap my head around, which is I don't, I don't remember if it's too, like if I were to do, I need to be 10 blocks away or if I need to like have 10 out. Oh, oh, hold on, I can't see the stuff. But if I need to be like 10 out and stuff, I get really confused about that because uh, I don't, honestly speaking, I don't remember how to calculate it in terms of do I add a one or do I remove a one or what do I do with one? It just, it confuses me. Um, all right, let me see what this, sub was Tilone Wolf. Thank you very much for subscribing. Many cheers. Watch him flinch. How dare you? How dare you? Whose side are you on? All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I believe 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We'll be at 30, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, so we were one over. We were one over today. Cry every time. Um, that's okay. Because you know what we'll do? I'm going to break this out. And then I'm going to put that torch down there. All right, cool. So nothing has spawned the planks, which is all fine and dandy. Now, what I need to do is this. Let me go back here. So there is, so we are currently staying on 235, and this is 234. So I have to add one is what I need to do. So I need to subtract it. So if we want to get to 25 blocks away, yeah, 25 blocks away, I'm going to have to go to 216? I want to say it's 216 is where I need to be. So I probably did that math wrong. No, there's no way. I did that math wrong. I think I just did 20. No, hold on. I was at 235. That's not even possible. Chogo, please. All right, 235. I need to be 25 away. I need to be at 221? No, that's not it. 211. 211 is where I need to be, I think. 211. In order to be a even 25. So 211. So right about here. Okay, so there's 211. All righty. Now, I need to go ahead, we need to put in some dirt here. All right, 211, here we go. And then, boop, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we just have to fill this bad boy in. And this will be our first little farm plot. Now, we do need to surround this bad boy with fences because I don't want critters jumping out of here and getting killed. We, every single critter is going to be very, very important to us. Also, coincidentally, which is why I've not been eating bread very much. Um, I do want wheat so I can breed us some livestock, and we're going to have to make them pretty compact. One thing that I did realize halfway through was I did realize that we are going to probably be seeing the emergence of the chicken farm um, that we've made in just about every single How to Minecraft thing that we've ever done. But we probably will be, whoop, we'll probably be doing that again. Very, very likely. 35 minus 25 equals 10. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, here. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hold on. This is the thing that confuses me too. And I could be wrong, but hear me out. This is why I get very confuzzled in terms of whenever I do this stuff. And I, I don't think it's completely because I'm an idiot. I think it's partially because I'm an idiot, but not entirely. So right here, right? I'm currently standing on 235, right? Now, if I go to 234, that's one block away from the 235 block. But in reality, that's two. You include this one as well as that. So that's why I had to subtract one or yeah, subtract one from the total number. So I was subtracting 19 because I was standing on this block. I guess the, the smart way to do this would be to stand here and then just say like, okay, I'm currently standing on 236. I need to subtract 25, which would be 211. That's why I did what I did. I know I'm not completely crazy. I'm sort of crazy, but I don't think I'm completely crazy just yet. That part is still yet to come. <laughs> so I think we'll be a-okay. All right, let's make ourselves some sticks. And I guess we'll just do, wait, is this gonna make fence gates? Yeah, it's gonna make fence gates. Reverse. Nope. Oh, that's right, you have to make them out of all sticks. We also have some uh, fences up, up by the up area, but we don't have them here. So not important, I suppose. All right, doop, doop, do. And then we just need to put the fences down. And now for this part, right? We do need to make sure it's properly lit, but we do need to get some grass going here. But let me just get this part done for the time being. All right, nah. Oh no, Chocobo, what have you done? It's all right, it's okay, it's okay. I know how we can make this work. We can still make this work. All right, so I'm gonna get my Matic out here. We're just gonna have to break these down. All right, that's okay. So we're just gonna have to make this a double. That's what we'll do. So let me see here. And this will actually give us a good reason to use some of those oak planks that we have. We have a lot of wood. We have gathered a lot of wood and it's it's kind of ridiculous how much wood we've gathered. But uh, yeah, pretty nutty. Let me just go ahead. Okay, let me just confirm I'm shifting and then we're just gonna go straight backwards and we'll just make this into the main pathway. So we have to move the other pathway back one, that's okay. That is completely and utterly all right. And then, let me just get this all running here. All right, very good. And then I'm just gonna take, actually let's go grab the slabs from upstairs. Cause I, we're, we all know, let's be honest. We all know I'm not gonna remember if I don't do it today. If I don't, if I don't make use of those things now, it's, it's just never gonna happen. Um, so let me go get these slabs. I'll even, I'll even bring the fences along for the low ride. Let's go back down. All right, we do have some new trees here. These big trees have been growing fairly frequently. I've, I've been actually genuinely surprised by how often a big tree generates. I, I don't know if that's like based off of Minecraft vanilla values or if uh, one of the mods in here, specifically in Nihilo, if that impacts it at all, but it certainly feels like it's higher um, than what it normally would be. So I, I've been sort of curious as to why that is. I don't really have a good answer for why that's going on, but who knows? All right. Now, because we are even, right, we're gonna put a fence gate 
on two different sides. And then as we expand this out, that's going to change over time. Over time, it will change. But for right now, that's going to be the way it is. Uh, do, 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 do. Let me go ahead and go back here. And then I'm going to need to make myself some more sticks. And I'll put that there. And then we have one fence gate. I need to make one more. So let me go ahead and make one more set of sticks. And then we are good to go. All right, so fence gates acquired. Let's put those down. And then we need to grow some grass seeds on there. That is the other part of the equation of this whole thing. But for now, we are now guaranteed that whatever goes in there is going to stay in there. Actually, I should probably put in some torches here as well. So let me go ahead and do that. We do want to make sure that uh, we have ample light here. It's a little bit spooky in the center. So I guess what we can do is we can do, uh, I guess we can just, just throw down torches, honestly speaking. Um, hmm. Let's see here, how many off the diagonal is that? Three? Alright, so one, two, three. Yeah, okay, and then one, two, three. Just to, just in the interest of making this look, you know, standardized. Alright, whoop, one too many a torch. Alright, so let's go get our wait a second. Alright, let's go get our grass seeds. <laughs> I don't remember doing that. Let's go get our grass seeds and let's fix that up. Wow, that is turning into like the Totoro tree over there. Holy fudge. Um, do, 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 grass seeds. We'll take two of these for the time being, and then we're going to plant them, and hopefully, that will be a okay. I don't know why I crouched there. I just got really terrified I was going to fall, and I don't know why. All right, so there we go. There is one. I'm going to put down another, and now that should propagate. That should start spreading a little bit, admittedly, a little bit slowly, but it should start spreading across the other blocks. And then that's going to kind of take over. And this will hopefully start spawning us some other friendly critters like cows, pigs, sheep. I don't know if there are any other like weird mobs added by this mod, but we're not in ore spawn, so we shouldn't see anything too crazy. Because what would be really rip is if this game freaking had, uh, whatchamacallit, like Mothras and stuff. That would be savage. I, I would not be down for that. I would very much not be okay with that happening. Oh, gosh. The very idea. It's, it's sickening. All right. Um... Let me go ahead, let's make a whole bunch of sticks, and then let's make a whole bunch of crooks. And then, with said crooks, guess we don't really need that anymore. Alright, and then we'll just go ahead and harvest some of these bad boys up. So, anyways, part one is done. One and done. Um, we'll check back on that a little bit later. I know this is savage, don't look. Don't look, you saw nothing. We threw nothing away, it's alright. <laughs> it's all over. Alright, and then we are going to be back to check on that. The other part of today is that we have some cobblestone, obviously, in our inventory. And with this cobblestone, what we're going to do is we're going to pulverize it, pulverize it down to gravel. And then once we have that down to gravel, we're going to go ahead and sieve them down. And what we're hoping to find is we're hoping to find some ore. Um, we're hoping to find some good candidates for getting some ore going here, preferably some iron. Now, in truth, we are also very much okay with redstone because a lot of redstone stuff could mean automation. Automation being the key to what's going to make our entire experience a lot more manageable and a lot better. So we are we're okay with both those things. Now, if we find other stuff, it's not the end of the world. A lot of like the Tinker's Construct ores are admittedly not nearly as valuable as the uh, vanilla ores are, and we can't go into the deep dark just yet because the deep dark obviously is quite expensive to get into, but. Um, once we get our lives together a little bit more here, uh, we will be able to get ourselves a bit. Once we, yeah, once we get ourselves kind of situated, we will be in a much better position to kind of move forward with some crazy progression. The next jump really occurs after we get some automation running and gunning for us. So, a little bit, a little bit further into our future, that is. All right, let me go ahead. We're just going to hop around. Now, this has been testing my parkour skills. And so far, I've met the challenge relatively well, I'd say. Which is very surprising to hear out of me. But Ooh. Stone Matic is now... It seems to have accumulated a patch of moss. Oh, it's going to auto-repair now. Right? Yeah, it's auto... 
Yes? Just realized, it doesn't show me the durability. It shows me on the bar, but it doesn't actually show me proper. Weird. I, I never noticed that, actually. Um, hmm. That's kind of an odd thing for me to have noticed just now. I feel like I would have noticed that way earlier, but I just never noticed. Strange. I'm not very attentive. I would not make a good... would not make a good magic dad. Alright, so let me go ahead. Boom, boom, boom. Break these down. Plenty of trees. Man, this Maddox looking pretty hype, to be honest. And there's another level above expert. Hmm. Crazy. Crazy. Let me go ahead and grab all these saplings. We, so we don't really need too terribly much more in the way of dirt and stuff like that. Any dirt from now on basically goes to expanding that operation. And I do see some patches of grass growing there, which is pretty exciting. It's really weird because it's like, I feel like I'm lying to you guys. I feel like I'm lying whenever I say, like, it's exciting to see grass grow. Like, that statement doesn't seem like it could ever possibly be correct, but it's true. It's it's really good to see grass growing because we just we started off with literally nothing. And the sound of wonderful, glorious doom just all over there. All right, let me go ahead and get that stuff. All right, I think, yeah, I think that's it. Nope, we got one straggler here. All right, good, good, good. So let me go ahead, let's get this dirt out of here, get these new saplings running and gunning. I think we'll be in pretty good shape. Um, I may even wanna, at one point, I don't think we need to worry about dirt that much. Uh, truth be told, that little space there should be more than enough. We are hitting nighttime, and also, uh, I just realized, for those of you who are like, what happened here? Um, we did used to have an oak barrel here, right? Now, I did make an executive decision here, and I just replaced that all, and I put three furnaces down. It's no longer on top of that. Uh, we just What we did was we had a lot of this oak wood, and so I just ran that over, and I just put a whole bunch. I am cooking coal? What? Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> um. All right. I guess I have a purpose for wood. I don't really understand what's going on here. Um. But yeah. So we put those furnaces there, so we have a little bit more stuff going on. That is. Man, <laughs> just, whenever I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna refill the charcoal. The charcoal turns out to be something they can put back into a furnace and then smelt, which is weird because charcoal is that's yeah, strange. <laughs> that's really late game. Yeah, I had a feeling. That's all right. We can we can at least get that running. There's no there's no real harm in doing that. All right, let me go ahead gather up this stuff so i did also on the other side of completely everything that has nothing to do with sky factory itself but with my actual life um my i got myself a new chair at long last for those of you who are familiar with that whole uh shebang i i have been kind of wanting a new chair my other chair has been getting pretty old i've had that chair for a while now and uh, the chair is, is totally fine i'm keeping the chair and we're going to use it for uh, other purposes hopefully hopefully it gives it some time to recover but uh yeah, I, I <laughs> oh no, I went ahead and I got myself a new chair. It's a chair from Serta, which I as associate Serta with mattresses, not not so much chairs, but apparently they make chairs as well. And the chairs themselves are actually totally okay. Um, I I'm using it for the first time now. I haven't used it for very long. I'm actually test riding it right now. My booty is quite happy. My booty is like, thank you, thank you for finally getting a new chair. Um, but yeah, it's it's actually been kind of interesting. It's one of those chairs that like totes lumbar support and it's uh it's in it's been interesting it's it's a chair that pushes the lower part of your back forward and this also has something like pelvic something or another and what it does is like whenever i slide my well as I'm, tr I'm trying to talk while i do it which isn't really working very well but basically if i slide my booty forward whenever i'm kind of hanging out and doing whatever it may be um that is actually gonna like realize like oh hey he's trying to like scoot his butt forward and it moves the chair's seating. That's pretty cool and it was actually at a pretty decent price. Chairs are not cheap by the way, which was a very very shocking moment for me whenever I was like wow, chairs are not as cheap as I remember. Admittedly, I have 
if, if you guys are ever in the market for like, if you want to get a chair and you're just like, hey, I'm strapped for cash, an honest to God, reasonable way to do that is to go find like um, some kind of business or like a, like a school even. Those places surprisingly have a lot of chairs that just, they just have that they're willing to give away. Um, kind of a random aside, but I just wanted to give everyone an update. I know some people were like, oh, the chair. You finally get one yet? I'm like, yes, it's so beautiful. It's actually great. It is tremendously awesome because I do have uh, I do I do need to make sure that I keep good care. Of, I need to take good care of my back. I English so good you wouldn't even believe. All right, boom! Another set of leaves gone, gone to the wind. And then I will go ahead and harvest you. And again, it's not that we necessarily need to do this, but I do want to. I would like to expand that grass plot out a little bit more than where it's at right now. It's not necessary, but it would be nice. It would be a nice little thing to have. The luxuries of life. Okay, let me go ahead. Can I reach any of you? I kind of doubt... I can stand on this! Wow, I can stand on the drying racks. I did not know this. Alright, then... Hmm. I don't think I can reach any... Yeah, well, definitely can't now. Alright, well, that's good enough for me. That's good enough for government work, so it's good enough for me. Let me go ahead and we'll throw these into the bin. We'll compost these as well. Get some more dirt going here. And then let's and then after this we'll start sieving. So we have to put down some cobble and then with said cobble we are going to go ahead and get ourselves some gravel and we're going to sieve it in gravel form, which should be pretty pretty cool. Now, combine the saplings and let's get our cobblestone out. This hammer is 125% going to break. <laughs> so we should probably not do it all in one shot. Eh, actually, I guess it doesn't really matter if we do it in one shot or not. Because truth be told, even if we were to do it in one shot, it's going to break and we can just continue doing it. It doesn't really harm us. I keep on I keep on becoming very, very fearful of doing these things in one shot because it reminds me of woodcutting in MCMMO. And woodcutting an MCMMO, whenever you screw that up in terms of like you hit that and then all of a sudden it's just like it explodes on you, it splinters and it hurts you for a lot of damage. So I am I generally get a little bit fearful of it, but I really shouldn't be anymore. All right, bang. A good amount of gravel. Good, good, good amount of gravel. All right, and then let's go ahead and make ourselves a stone hammer this time. And break this down. Boom, lovely. All right, so got ourselves a decent chunk of gravel. Not too much, but not too little. So we are, we are right about where we would want to be. Um, I guess we'll do 12 more and make it a fair stack. And hopefully what we'll find is that we're going to find ourselves some ores from this. It will be awesome. We don't have duplicator trees, unfortunately, so we will have to kind of do this the old-fashioned way. Okay, there you go, 64 gravel. All right, we're all well on our way to making ourselves into self-made quays. Let me go see what the business here is. Yep, there we go. Look at that. Beautiful. It's already covering some ground. We got some good grass, and it's already taken over what looks to be a, a little less than half. It's, it's a little bit less than halfway covered. So a little bit more daylight, a little bit more sunshine, a little bit more spit. We should be good. Um, all right, sieving time. Gravel. Let's go ahead and sieve these things down. So, we're, again, we're hoping for iron, we're hoping for redstone, anything else is like, eh, it's alright, but it ain't great. And we will hopefully find ourselves something good. Um, I, now, I do think that one thing that is not really changed too much are other dimensions in uh, Sky Factory, which means that if we go to the nether, we should actually be able to find a couple things here and there, I'd imagine. Um, one thing in particular that I'd be kind of curious to know if the nether has is whether or not we could possibly find some ore in the nether. I don't know what the answer to that is, actually. Okay, we got some kind of rock out there. Ooh, we got some lapis! So, we I've been getting a lot of people saying, like, hey, if the world interaction upgrade or whatever it is, and then with that, uh, we could do some things, but all right, cool. That just became a whole lot more reasonable. Um, hmm. And before I get flint. All right, uh, do, 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 do. I have so much of this wood. Okay, I am going to toss 
you away. I'm going to toss you away. I'm going to toss you away. I'm going to toss you away. Because I just have a ridiculous number of things of wood. And it's just not a high priority right now. All right, so we'll continue sieving down. Ooh, nether is empty. It's all empty. Really? Huh, okay, apparently the nether is empty. You can only find dungeons in there. So, little did I know. All right, and then we got another tip here. Um, don't just smelt the gravel versions of the ores. You can hammer them down and get a slight bit more of the ores. Okay, cool. I did not know this. Word to the wise has been heard. Let me see. Let me see what goes down here. All right, so we're a little over halfway done with our gravel thing. And you know what? Let's just let's go for the whole stack. Let's just go through the whole stack and see what we got at the end of it, and then we can just kind of see what the results are. I'm thinking we'll find some. I want to say we'll find at least a couple things of iron in here. Um, oh, people said I got a diamond. I didn't even see. <laughs> oh man. And people are like, Diamond, no he didn't, no, lies, Diamond, what? Oh my, the dreams, the dreams, boys. Let's see if I did get a diamond, I don't know. I, I feel like it was, like, I've seen Lapis, I've seen us get Lapis, I don't know if I found a diamond, though. Diamond shovel, let's go. <laughs> oh my. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So we're down to the last, this is the 11th one there right now, and now we're down to the 10th one. And here we go, nine, eight, seven, six. I'm seeing a lot of flint, so we can finally repair our throwing knives. Four, three, and a two. And a one. We got a lapis. Zero. Alright, let's see what our let's see what we got. I'm kinda nervous. Alright. We did get a diamond. We got four lapis. Some nickel, some copper, a decent amount of aluminum. Which is I think what we actually need for not that. Yes, for this. We also need gold though. We can get the glass. Glass is doable. Gold, not as much. Um, but now with the aluminum, that does help. Okay, we got some broken iron ore. So we did get some of that. Um, we got some lead ore as well. And we do have some gold ore. Okay, so we could technically close in a little bit with the transfer node. Um, we will need some redstone. The stone, obviously, is something that we can do relatively easily. But uh, we, we definitely could do that. Now... There is one thing that I am a little bit keen on trying. Uh, something that we do have in Crazier Craft, but I just never got into it because it didn't really make a lot of sense for me to do it. Um, which is, we do have the potential to make magical crops in this. Now, I haven't messed with magical crops before, and I may be wrong about how this works. Um, but we'll certainly see what happens. So, let me see if I got this right. So, I think what I'm supposed to be doing here is I'm supposed to, I'm basically supposed to take this broken iron ore, make it into iron ore gravel, and then from iron ore gravel, I think I'm supposed to smack it with a hammer and it's gonna give me this crushed iron ore. Is that correct? Because I think that is what we need to do. But I'm gonna wait until stream says one thing or the other, because I don't wanna, I don't wanna screw this up, because that would be a lot more grinding that would have to do and I don't want this to turn into like a giant like fail fish of an episode be like oh well Choco you have the ability to get lots of stuff but you just ruined it all all right people are saying yes so I think we're on the right track here and then do it one more time oh I can do it one more time really all right let me go ahead rip these down I think it's really cool that we got the uh, self-repairing thing as part of our uh, whatchamacallit, as part of Tinker's Construct. I think that's really sweet, actually. Alright, you know what? You can just naturally despawn. I'm not that hard-pressed for saplings. Our sapling game is actually quite strong. 
Our wood game is ridiculous. Like, we have so much wood, it's ridiculous. I, I, honest to God, have no idea what we're going to do with all this wood. If anyone has some great ideas for what we can do with wood, please do let me know. Because uh, I know we can make it into oil. We heard I heard one person say that in this recommendation, which I guess we'll do that now. Okay, so now we're out of that. Doesn't look like I can put it into the crucible here. So it does not look like oil is going to be a go. Um, but we, we did get ourselves a lava bucket, which is kind of nice. All right, so let's go up and let's go ahead and store the wood away. And then we'll go back down and we're going to start, we'll make the gravel and then hammer it and then do the hammering again. I don't really know what else we're going to do with it, but we're going to do that stuff. So let's store these away. Man, just look at how much wood we're gathering. That's ridiculous. All right, and then let me, let me sleep away the night. There's not really a good reason really to sleep away the night. The only reason why I'm doing this is to make sure that the grass plot has lots of light. Um, I'm hoping what that will do is that's going to increase the chance of us rolling some happy friends, which at the moment does not look like it's happening, which is kind of sad. All right. Um, do, 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 do. Let me think here. All right. I'm going to drop off this, and then I guess we're going to get started. All right. So we have nine things of broken iron ore. I'm going to do that, and we're going to get iron ore gravel. Now, with iron ore gravel... I'm going to go ahead and I believe just break these down with hair. I'm going to do them individually. All right, so I got five. I got ten. Okay, so it looks like that was more or less standard. So now I can, oh, I can combine these into sand now. Okay. And I'm guessing I just do the same thing with sand. I probably should have checked that before I put them down. Eh, YOLO. All right, and now I have powdered iron ore which I don't know if that gave me more. I think that gave me the same amount, actually. <laughs> I, I don't think that did much of anything. For, it gave us like a little bit more, I guess, but like a really, really itty, itty bit more. Because we just, we, we turned that into, yeah, I guess. All right, I guess we're good. We got, we got ourselves two things of iron. Um, we could make shears out of this, although I don't really think shears are really worth it anymore. So, we got ourselves some iron. Very exciting time. The game's very excited for us. Now, let me see here. What do I... Oh, ME system. You will be ours eventually. Not now, but eventually. Oh, and when we do, well, you better believe there's going to be a party. All right, so I can pulverize this bad boy if I really want to. Now, we do have... Oh, an auto feeder wasn't what I was thinking of at all. But we do apparently have an auto feeder. But we we do have the uh, what should we call it in this game? We do have mine factory reloaded, so there's going to be quite a few things in here that we can mess around with. Conveyor belts, so that's just extra utilities. Drums. There are generators from extra utilities as well. Man, there's so much just stuff in here. All right, so what I need to do, since I have no idea what I'm doing. I need to look up magical crops. And then I need to go find myself the iron crop. I think that's an actual thing here as well. All right, iron crop. No, that's not what I need to do. I need to do seeds, perhaps? Iron seeds? Iron seeds. Yep, okay. So I'm going to need four iron ingots. Min Minico siege, which I think we can make. And then we need Imperial Essence, which isn't going to involve this kind of infusion stone stuff and blah, blah, blah. So we need to go ahead and we have to basically raise this up from Minico. So we do need more iron in order to get that rolling. So we're not even there yet anyways. But we do have some of this Essence. So I guess we can get started on this. I want to say that we can. Um, I'm not actually entirely sure if like we're in pretty good shape or not. Do you have some powdered copper ore? Some Skystone's dust. We got some of this other stuff. I guess I might as well take the rest of this with us. We'll just take all the uh, take all the goods here. Let's see, do I see any other things of ore? I don't believe I do. Do have some coal here. Um, okay, so I guess believe, oh wait, I do have some powdered iron ore. We're gonna leave the rest as is. Yeah, we're gonna leave the rest as is. All right, so let's go ahead and take our stuff that we have here and let's go up. And then we're going to go ahead and kind of manage our inventory a little bit better. Because our inventory is an absolute mess. 
<laughs> there, there is messes, and then there's our inventory, which is a different level of mess. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to throw in all these broken things of ore into there, and then auto-organize, and now that is in alphabetical order. Beautiful. And, of course, I forgot to put in copper, so cheers. Um, <laughs> let me go ahead and do that. We'll put in the crushed stuff, the powdered stuff. Um, I guess we technically should also put this down there as well. And then we are more or less in good shape. The flint, we do want to repair our throwing knives with, so um, we will keep that on our person. All right, so let me see what we can do so far. We're not going to do this today, I don't think, but we, we should... Ooh, that is expensive. Ugh. So we can make an infusion stone, but we can only make a weak one. Um, and in order to make the iron ore, because iron, having a lot of iron would be an absolutely phenomenal thing to have. There, there's no question about that. Um, but the question is, we need a strong infusion stone. So that's two tiers away from weak. Ooh, that's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we would need to make a weak one, and then after that, we would need essence anyways, which is an entirely different thing. Um, so once we do that, we would then need to take that and do it again with the regular infusion stone. All right, so we, we have a ways to go. I think we're going to stay away from magical crops. Let me see if there's an actual entry in here for a magical crops. Oh, it does say automate or cobble generator with a transfer node, so we're on the right track. All right, so we have done this. I want to say we've done this, mostly because I just don't, I don't really, we, we, we built above it, and we know how to build below it, um, so that's not a big problem. Uh, we still need to make a proper mob grinder, so I'm not going to do that yet. We do need to make a smeltery, and we, we're going to worry about the tinkers, like parts and all that in the later point. Automating the cobble farm, obviously the generator is going to take a little bit, because um, we need more redstone. I need a sift, I believe, not... A dust. I think I need to see it through dust. And then obsidian with a stone barrel. No idea. Update your monster farm to kill monsters automatically, which is going to, of course, be for that. And then the farming age. Oh, we're clip. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's actually coming up. So that's in the next age. Okay. So that's okay. We are a okay. I'm pretty content with our progress today. I think that's pretty good. So, oh, actually, before we before we call it a day. Ooh, we are making some pretty good progress over there. Let's go check it out. Let's go check out what our little Greenlands are doing over there. After I replace this for more dirt. I didn't hear a cow. Was there a cow? Oh my gosh, phone, please. I beg. I beg. Alright. There's no cow. Why guys lying to me about cows? Unless you guys, uh, on the very off chance that that was what happened, I, my phone did go off. I don't really know how you would confuse the sound of a phone for a cow. Maybe that's what I, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what you guys are talking about. What do you mean cows? Cows? I don't, I don't see no cow. There ain't no cows around these parts. Alright, let's zip on over here. Okay, take these, break down some more, and then just chop it down, chop it down, downsicles, and then boom. Okay, let me go ahead over here. Actually, let's also drag this down as well. We can use the uh, sugar cane to compost as well. Man, I got all excited. Like, I thought you guys, like, legitimately heard a cow, and I was about to be like, really? Our first livestock, but no. All that's left in my heart is disappointment. Thanks, guys. Thanks for all the heartbreak, monsters. Y'all know my favorite thing is beef and steaks and stuff. Can't believe you play with my heart this way. Can't believe you do that. This is all just a game to you where none of your, where none of the moves real. Cry every time. I actually feel my eyes watering a little bit. That's kind of concerning. <laughs> Maybe part of me is actually resentful that I didn't find a cow. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. It's I'm 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 only half kidding. Cry. I am cow. I go moo. All right. Let me do that, and we are well on our way. All right. Cool beans. 
So, we got ourselves a little grass plot going, all of course safe from the spawns and whatnot. Um, so we are all good on that front. We have ourselves a little bit of other stuff going on in terms of uh, getting our iron, or I guess not just iron, but technically just sieving through a whole bunch of cobblestone and then into that. So I know how to do that now. Um, so the next thing that we'll probably be doing is I'm going to probably spend a long time, probably tomorrow on stream, where we're just going to sit down and just grind on Sky Factory for a while, just so we can get enough resources. Because I think this part of the gameplay is really just going to be focused upon me just grinding and grinding and grinding and grinding and so i will spare the youtube side of that stuff up but for those of you watching on stream you may catch me kind of hanging out and grinding along and you know jamming out to pandora singing making people go deaf you know the usual so we will see about that but anyways guys for these watching you on youtube that is going to be all for today if you guys did enjoy please be sure to leave a like rating down below subscribe to the channel if you are new and i'll see you guys in the time so take care everyone and you know what I think it's about time that we name this thing. You know what? I'm gonna let's name it. Can I name it? Is there a thing where I can name it? Um, can I? Can I name it? Ooh. Okay. Let's call this. Oh, what was his name? The the guy from Daredevil is Murdoch. Kind of like Maddock. Isn't he like Matt Murdock? So like Matt and then Murdock, Maddock. So I'm going to call this Daredevil. So Daredevil, the Maddock. And the great thing is this doesn't cost me any levels, which is awesome. And then... Hmm. Let's see. What should we call the pickaxe? Hmm. Pickaxe, pickaxe, pickaxe. Let's call it. Hmm. Pickaxe. I'm gonna call the pickaxe Pixie. Don't ask why. Just we're we're doing it. It's done. The deed is done. And then, ooh, actually, we do need to repair our throwing knives. And then I'm just gonna call them. We're gonna call them kunai. That's what they are. Let's be honest. They're kunai. Don't don't even. For those of you who are about to go up in arms, be like, Choco, those aren't kunai. They're kunai. I'm sorry. I don't know how else to break it to you, but they're kunai. <laughs> Alright, so can I actually get more? No, can't. Alright, cry every time. Alright, so there we go. All that stuff. And uh Yeah, I think we're in pretty good shape. Oh, and I forgot to name the rapier. Um what's it called a rapier? What was that one character? Oh, I can't remember. What was the one character that uses a rapier? It's a fencer. Can't remember its name. Can't remember its name. Mm, uses a rapier. Uh, oh! Great, that was wonderful. I don't even know how I did that. Trays. <laughs> For those of you who are nerds, you may catch on to what that is. If you are not nerds, then you'll probably have no idea what I'm talking about. But that is that is what I wish to name it. Alright, so cool, cool stuff. I will see you all another time. Take care and ciao for now.